Welcome, everyone. We are back for the GG Millions. It is season 2024, episode 44. We got a repeat guest, the man, the myth, the legend, Balea Razvan joins us. Balea, how are you? Hello. Hello, everyone. I'm good. I'm good. How are you? Well, I'm good, man. I'm good because we got big action, big names, and of course, big prizes. So a very exciting final table. Again, we have some former winners. We got some new faces. And of course, we have some of the, the biggest, brightest stars in the world. And we get to call this 10K final table, which took place Sunday, pauses. And we get to call to a winner over 300,000 in prizes available today for the first place. And of course, one through nine getting prizes. You can take a look at your pro or player profile, the 2023 EPT Paris main event champion for a seven your score that's always nice some other great results as well and we're going to be letting you call the action and give us some good insight into what these guys might be doing and i think you said you have played with a few of these players we're going to take a look at the names and, and what we're playing for today but you have recognized some of these guys yeah i do i do i'm not playing that high uh, yet but uh, i'm getting there sooner or later i will be there too I, I love it. I mean, it's 1.45 million in the prize pool. Of course, a 10K buying online. This is the creme de la creme. Some of the most prestigious players in the world play this tournament weekly. And you can see the, the prizes are very healthy. Almost a quarter million for second. 315 up top. No deal making available. And we will play to a winner today. So you guys get to see that play out. And you can take a look at 145 entrance, 9 remain. Of course, big tournaments going on in the world with Triton, and uh, uh, you know, some uh, there's a lot going on, a lot of poker happening these days. So it's great to see these healthy purses, healthy prizes, and a chip lead with 78 blinds and a very short stack. I believe a three-time winner, Ottoman, has won. He has won this season as well, and two in the prior. Pavel just won recently, and I think we have maybe Oliver has won, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So we have three champions in the. The first place is a, I guess, an unknown lemon house being the username. We'll take a look. I think his total winnings in GG at 500K and Super Millions was a big part of that with the final table for $400,000 score. And we're going to pick up the action right away. Are you up for, Belay, are you up for a uh, last longer? We can do a, do a. Yeah, let's go. We'll do it. I'll let you choose red or black. As always, audience will get 50 if one of your players win, 100 if one of mine, and I'll let you make the red or black choice. And then you can either take first or second and third, and then we alternate. So you get to call the color and whoever wins that. This time. Last time you beat me in this one, so I will go for second. Okay. Well, yeah, all right. Well, let's see. First of all, you gotta we got to see who's going to win the color. So call a color. Oh, we have an all-in already. What? All right, we'll do the next red or black for the flop. But so far, Ace 10 gets out flop. That is our three time champion. Autumn are going to go ahead and flop a seven. Needs help. It is not going to be there. And the chip leader versus the shortest stack and a get there. So that does sort of even things out a tiny bit. The shortest stack gets some chips. And all right, you choose red or black to start. So you get to choose for the next hand. I go for red. You got the red. I'll take the black. Welcome, everyone. Thanks for joining us. See a lot of familiar faces in the building right now. We are going to have giveaways for you, of course, the tweet, which will be out momentarily. And we will say you said you said black, correct? Red, red. Oh, red. And it is black. So fair enough. So I choose for I'll choose first or second and third. And I'll actually. Wow. A lot of uh, interesting lot of chips. I guess I'll take. Uh, yeah, I'll go. I'll go first. I got to take my Brazilian there, who is Axel Rose, the chip leader. You know, I love, I'm biased to Brazil. My son's, my wife is Brazilian. I'm a half Brazilian now. Yeah. So, yeah, I'll take Brazil. You go ahead. You get second and third pick. Yeah, then I go for Pavel Pleshov with, uh, with my choice because it's my neighbor. And I think uh, he's speaking the same language as me. So, yeah, we, I'm, I'm rooting for him now. Okay. And then you get to pick another one as well. Okay, uh, I go for uh, Barak. <laughs> Good choice. Great player. All right, I'm going to go with the wild card, Lemon House. Started out as chip leader, basically tied for the chip leader, but a little bit unknown. So that's my second pick. Now you get to go. You get another one. I'll go with uh, Elliot. Elliot, okay. I will take Oliver. The, I think a former champion, he's got 1.2 million chips. And I think he has one in season two. He did get two final tables and one win. So I'll take Oliver and you get another one. Otomar did run good uh, in this uh, beginning of the tourney. So I'll go with him. 
Vladimir, okay. And then I will take... Uh, Otomar, Otomar. I go with Otomar. Oh, you, you took over Vladimir? Yeah, yeah. All right, you get Otomar. I'll take Vladimir, and then I guess you get the last guy as well. I'll give you him uh, Mr... How do you say? Mr. Noria. Noria. Nora. So, cool. All right, we're locked in, audience. 50 or 100 again. 50 if one of Balea oh wins and 50, 100 if one of mine. So, I got I got the audience on my side. Barack's got kings on the button and the short stack ace eight suited. Definitely considering to rip it here. A lot of players behind. He is going to commit and he is going to get some bad news. A lot of aces gone there. Look at Oliver folding the ace, Pavel with the suited ace. So, he is going to have to hit some spades or I believe maybe one remaining ace that we even see if that's available. So he is in a bit of trouble here and we could be down to eight very quickly as we go and we get to see Brock taking a little time bank does call and uh good flop there for him. Kings out in the lead, picks up a couple more outs with the eight, won't have the flush possible. So he needs to hit an eight or one of the few aces left. And it is 800 K in the middle cards on their backs. Good luck. Barack fades the turn one more to come, or we will be eight handed. And One it's a seven. Just busted. Yeah, she, but you had an extra guy, so you're okay. But I have a uh, better, yeah. Four guys, four guys a pop. Rock, though, your guy gets the chips, and we are off in a fast start, a couple all-ins and some big hands as Oliver gets ace-king. So tell me about your upcoming plans. Did you play your def – you won EPT Paris last year. Did you play this year? Did you go for that again? Yeah, yeah, I did go. The things didn't go so well, but uh, I, I'm traveling a bit lately. Yeah, it's it's you know that's hard. I'm to planning for Triton as well, but uh, we'll see. Very cool. Well, I hope. Yeah, that's. I mean, that is again one of the best stops on tour. Best place you can go is Triton. I know they announced the Montenegro stop in May. That's going to be pretty amazing. Hope to see you there. As look at our friend, the chip leader, Lemon House flops a house and Ace King suited on the Jack Jack Deuce. Expect him to be putting a bit of pressure right this is a board he's got the back yeah. door now flush draw he's got he could he has a yeah he will see bad range here mostly yeah uh... wow pretty curious play here lemon house with the mineral uh, almost you know, a little check raised do you like this with the deuces i mean if you you get your opponent on, i mean you can hook we'll, on. Uh, we'll have a lot of uh check raises here for sure uh our jack x will uh, will also raise the check raise a lot here so i don't mind check raising a boat here uh i think i will just call because uh, uh oliver will have a lot of uh, good turns that he can continue but I think Lemon decided to to check raise to put more money in the port starting from the flop and uh, have the betting lead the, on the turn. Oliver will float, of course, uh, a lot of face high uh, with backdoor flash draws and king high, even king high with backdoor flash draws. So all the pairs. But uh, yeah. wow, yeah. I mean, Lemon House put a big size there, kind of kind of let off Oliver cheap. The other side of that is if he does have a jack or, you know, a, a hand where he does connect or turns the queen as ace-queen there or something like that, queen-king that floats, he could really get in some trouble. So interesting by Lemon House. We'll see, we'll see what his plan is, but that was a nice flop for him as he does go ahead and pick up the pot, and he is your chip leader as he started the day. I guess tied really with the Brazilian. So interesting. But you, you like the check raise? You think you might call there, though? Yeah, I think I think it's a mix in general, uh, depending on the, the player. But in general, I think I will just call there. Yeah, as we see, the ninth place finisher getting forty three thousand and change. Fifty five k for eight is your next payout, all the way to a winner. Giveaway is coming. The tweet is coming right now as well. Will be fifty dollar cash. I think last week we had two. Uh, let's see. Um, I am gonna put in a. And get it out here. Make sure we get you tagged as well. Yeah, well, big big money today. Big purse, three hundred fifteen thousand. Very exciting. And again, to see the the very talented players here. I, I like your selections. I know some of the guys, Barack and Pavel, have seen a lot on the stream. See how that fares. Ottomar did get the double up, but he's very short. We can bet for a meal between you and me if you want. Uh, last time uh, I owe you a meal, so. We can yeah. go for a uh, double or nothing. Okay. 
Well, yeah, I like, I mean, that's, let's do it. Let's do a second meal. I'd be two separate meals or zero. I like that. We're, we will run it back. That's what the snake draft was. You got your players. I got mine and we are here now. Barack, you got, you got like the two guys always tangling. Those are your own guys just kind of shuffling chips, but a nice board for both players going to be interested with a pair and open-ended with open-ended and two overs so let's see what do you like yeah, I, here think, from I, 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 I think i will i will like a check here uh, because uh, it's it's tough to play a jack here i mean i don't really want to get raised here with uh with my my combo so i will have oh what a fall by barak he folded open-ended and a pair um a big bet yeah, it was a bit bad, but I think we want to to have uh, some continuations, and that's, uh, in my opinion, that's one of them. Uh, we can be even ahead there with our pair. Um, it's it's very important to play the hands uh, on the streets. Uh, so on the turn there, I think we want to to have a clear call, and we reevaluate on the river. We don't know if Pavel will go for a bad river, so. Um, math wise, we need to to have a continuation there. Uh, look, close to fifty percent. Look of at this our hand. Range. I'm sorry to interrupt you, but I don't think I've ever seen this many pairs. We have kings, queens, threes, twos, fives, jack ten off, and a suited ace four that opens up the action. We got a flat from kings this definitely is trouble for elliot as he does oh. take a stand rightfully so right you can't blame him he's got a big hand it is under the gun min raise flat under the gun plus one but now he is going to commit and he is in bad shape pavel certainly going to get out of the way not losing more than just the min raise and now lemon house it's going to look pretty fishy right when you flat and then you just decide to put yeah. in the, the thing but i i, I would prefer I, I would i would have preferred to see a three bet with kings here uh but I think Lemon uh, sees that uh, he got two shorties behind, so they might jam. Yep. Or three bets. So. Well, quad kings, a little bit of overkill, but that is going to go ahead and send Elliot to the rail. Kings to queens, king high flop. Turn was 100%, and that is our seventh. We're down to seven. That was our eighth place finisher. We lost to two it. already, so a fast start today. Hope you're enjoying the action. Let us know where you're watching in the world. We got my man Balea Razvan in the house, who is a former guest and also the EPT hey champion 2023. So my man knows how to win the money. Got a huge score for 1.2 plus million last year, and he is in there and with us today. We appreciate that. And yeah, Adamar is uh, also twos to queens, man. Yeah. This is, uh, you might be able <laughs> to make getting... dinner, even though it's late over there in, in Europe. You might <laughs> still be able to make it. People are going. Yeah. I, I, Last clip. This is two champions battling. We already saw a deuce turn or flop for a boat. This time we need a deuce river or else we're down to what is it? Would it be six already? This is a quite fast start six. today. Six handed. And we have got the tweet out as well. I will go ahead and give you the link for that, guys. That is on my Jeff Gross Poker uh, Twitter. That is $50 as well. We got Balea rocking his shades. Is it, was that you from your championship? Is that your look? On, on the tour where you had the sunglasses on where you won or is that another photo yeah, yeah um, i don't use it i don't use twitter so much mostly instagram and uh, yep. facebook in romania all right well we'll get that link for everyone to watch along with and go ahead for the for, i should say to, to sweat along with uh tweet out above that is Good luck to everyone. And last week we did a double 50, so I think that's still pending. But yeah, we are we are here calling it, man. It's, we got it. We can't blink. This has been this has been fast. Of course, 2040k blinds. Some of the shorter stacks. Now it's have getting been it's getting interesting because uh, we see that two guys have more than 100 bigs, and uh, I think it will be fun. Yeah, there should be some interesting play. I'm curious. I don't really have a, a feel for Lemon. It seems like he's creative, right? He's he's got the flat yeah. in his game. He's got a few tricks up his sleeve. So let's see let's see how he plays. Uh, I think you know he's got the the nice chip lead currently, but a few very healthy stacks right now. Even the short stacks aren't super short. I would so like to see a, a three bet uh, by Pavel here. I think. It's a decent hand to to have a three bet as a bluff king nine sort here with uh, two guys 
short stacks and uh, Barak will have a lot of uh, pressure on him because it's ICM here. So uh, he will have a pretty big risk factor and uh, he doesn't want to bust uh, before uh, making two ladders here, right? So I think as a chip leader or second in chips, I will I will want to put a bit uh, more pressure and uh, let them know, hey, you're not opening uh, too much in my in my big stack. Oliver with uh, not flash draw and the gut shot here decided to check all. Nice check by Barak on turn. I think we want to have some uh, weak A6 to to check to protect our checking range on the turn because we will have some uh, some flash draws. And uh, Oliver decided to bluff this combo. I'm not a big fan. Uh, I think we will have a lot um, other bluffs, uh, not including the king high because I think if we bluff king high, we will bluff a bit too much in that particular spot. Yeah, what, what do you think about the bet on the flop from Barack? Do you like that just to fold out some like stone air or just sort of not? Go yeah, the and uh, in the same time, we will get a lot of value also by all the flash draws that Big Bang can have and all the second pairs, um, some gut shots with back doors. And uh, yeah, I, I think it's fine to it's good to, to, to see better. Yeah, and you know, sometimes I've noticed players folding tighter in the big blind to defend, especially under the gun. I mean, here, short stack, and this is one of the problems, right? You flop top pair, you're against top of range, and now you're you're kind of out of position and in a tough spot here. Barack does call flop. I mean, he definitely can get away, right? I don't think he's just gonna automatically be calling down all yeah, in Yeah, th so. this is a this is yeah. a pretty bad turn for him. Uh if Vladimir here continues, he will be in a tough spot. And we've seen him uh, fold that open straight uh, with a pair. So I expect him to fold here as well. Uh... Well, he calls, and this is problematic, right? If you, the, the, the yeah. jack, jack, he may discount the yeah. jack. And now, obviously, he loses to some flushes, tens plus nine with the better kicker but he's under the gun this player off a short stack what's his opening range look like and you know he definitely has some ace queen ace king off with the heart there's some bluffs here he could find so let's see if he does i would, go I would for... like to see a value bet by vladimir here yeah um especially with the um, 10 of hearts without 10 of hearts i think we can even check on the river but uh Barak will have a tough time to to fold this one here. Yeah, it works well with the 10 of hearts. As you said, it's more likely he misses, right? He's got a hand where he has the 10, like an, a heart that uh, can and miss. And he unblocks blocks the flashes, the flush. right? Yep, yeah, he's blocking more flush. So yeah, all of the above. And Barak, I mean, a very talented player. has got a tough decision here. He realizes there is a fair amount of bluffs, also value. And he is going to be in the tank using some of that chess clock. Each player gets 15 minutes. You can see the seconds count down so most players pretty healthy today everyone got a lot of time left to think and he is in the tank here i mean tough spot definitely yeah i think it's much better to call there with seven eight in the hand before then this one on turn with seven eight we have also the open ended straight draw here we basically drawing dead against uh, the flashes uh rivers are pretty bad for us like any heart any overcard is bad so i i would like uh, folding here and calling against pavel there yeah, well, he got the other one. I don't want to. I mean, the other one was a semi-bluff and one to come here. 
the story was told and he was in the second place. So good fold ultimately worked out fine. Pavel is chipping up, hovering around that chip leader. And one of the more experienced players also live. I think you said your neighbor in the world, right? Yeah. Rob, respectively speaking. And he is someone that definitely demands respect, knows how to win on and off line. And he has got himself yeah, another he's playing very pretty high position. as well. Yeah. yeah I very expect tough. him to be pretty aggro. I like uh, his check back with uh, Queen Jack of Suit. We don't want to, to raise fold this combo here in big blind. Yep. One of those sort of valueish hands, although now two overs club, he is going to check. Jack three of clubs had a flush draw and an over, which the over was no good. Now turns his three, which is a very welcoming card for him. Although, you know, he's uh, he's out of position. Doesn't have the strongest hand in the world, but has some backup with the club if he's not ahead. We will see check check most often here. I don't expect Pavel to bluff queen high here too often. And uh, river is pretty interesting. Yeah, this is. I, I think definitely... Pavel. It's pretty comfortable with queen, queen jack here. I will be pretty comfortable. Uh, yeah, just a call against a big size. No point of raising. Yeah, I like it by both players. And, and yeah, with that sizing, definitely Pavel not didn't even consider raising as obviously there's yeah. a lot of a lot of combinations, wide ranges, blind on blind that he loses to. And oh, that was one, the jack three, as he did have two pair and Pavel with a slight blemish there, although he is still very, very healthy. And, you know, he's got a good thing going here. He's got a tough seat with the ch other chip leader directly on his left, but he is in good position right now. That's for sure. Second place with six left. Let's see how Vodomir would uh, play this king-queen here. I would like to see a, a three-bet or a flat, obviously. Three bet is uh, much better in my opinion as well. We want to have some bluffs here to to three bet, so king queen is one of them. Blocking. Uh... Yeah, kings queens ace king definitely definitely a. Ace Queen too, one of the better sort of is, wow. And Barack just says, look at I know my opponent. I got ace eight suited. I'll roll the dice. I think you're gonna have some folds. If we do get called, we're probably two to one dog most of the time. And he does put the pressure on. Big pickup there for Barack and showing us his range, right? He shows, hey, I'm willing to put it in. That's not everyone's not gonna make that play. That's for sure. Yeah, He's for sure. He pulled the for trigger sure. there. Pretty impressive and to be right, right? You gotta be right. And then uh, it's nice to have backup though, right? Suited ace. <laughs> if you get called, you could always get there. But yeah. Oh, and Oliver making it a theme today. Will we see a hold aces to queen jack off? We could be five handed in record. I time. think it's a bit Plop. loose. The gut shot. Oh, a five would shop a 10 wins. And it is a eight. That is GG Oliver. Very tough player. Another former champion. Bust. We've lost a couple former champions today, and Lemon House is making a meal of this with five million. He is absolutely on fire. He is one of five, and what a, what a chalk! I mean, that's nice. You get shoved on, you open the button, your chip leader aces, queen jack off, hmm. steps out a little bit, and, and then you're just out the door uh, to a good start. And king jack off, certainly a handle consider put, keeping the pressure going, and he's definitely thinking about it. And uh, Pavel, interesting. This is definitely one of the stronger hands you're going to have five-handed, getting three-bet here, uh, out of position. Yeah, expect I think, does flat. Yep. I think just flatting uh, always here. No need to, to four-bet, no need to fold, so just flat playing post-flop. But uh, Remo House will see bet here a lot, so I think we will see a fall by King-Queen. Interesting, he chose the bigger size here. He said, okay, one and done. 
Mm, yeah, and as mentioned, two former champions have gone out. Ottomar has won three times, including once this season, twice in season two. And our guy here, Pavel, has won. And Pavel is pretty is running pretty hot uh, this year, right? This season. Yeah. Yeah, he's I already think... got a win. He has, I believe, yeah. ten final tables out of seventeen seventeen caches out of thirty times appearing. Wow. I mean, that's pretty insane. Uh yeah. Pretty insane ROI and, and results, and he does have a good amount of wins. Already two million plus in winnings for the super the GG million this season, over seven million on GG. One of the most experienced players here, Adamar was with ten million in caches, but he is now out. And yes, that's shaping up decent for our friend right now. What time is there? So it's 3.12. It has moved because of daylight savings. So now we will be every Tuesday at 2.45 Eastern, not 1.45. And a pot Pavel's way, ace nine suited, never a doubt. Had to fade a 10, stuck in there. And we are again blind on blind here. The Robbie, Jack four. Robbie been on the show before. Yeah, that I like is, uh, uh, I like his fault here. We don't really want to play against your bleeder here. Uh, too many hands out of position. He's seen that uh, Lemon House is doing the three bets. Uh, he got the, his tricks there, so I expect Pavel to to play a bit more tight since uh, it's second in chips. As ship leaders here, we want to put a lot of pressure on them, so I think Lemon will will battle with them a lot. Yeah, a couple couple solid hands, ace queen, king ten, although it is a short stack and give it a little respect. Ace nine. Yeah, I, I think mean, the, we will see a fold. I will yeah, the, I will fold here. The um, risk premium it's, for Vladimir Yeah, and it's just... very important to 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 keep some some guys like Vladimir here in the, in the game because we can put a lot more pressure on on the other yeah. stacks. So that's why I I'm not taking all the three best spots. I think Lemon is doing uh, is taking all the three best uh, bluff spots. But uh, in my opinion, I will like a fall here. Vladimir uh, will will not open that much, right? So. Having him uh, uh, at the table is pretty good for for us. Uh, yeah, makes sense. Bigger makes pressure sense. for 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 everyone else. Yeah, he's he he does have some light opens though. You know, I agree with you about Lemon wanting to keep him in, but also you know he's just that Vladimir does have some raised folds off that stack, and he is he is the shortest, right? So he can be a little more experimental play around open yeah you know he's, he doesn't have much to lose with everyone else much much higher stack than him at the time so i don't know and I this guy doesn't care too much about money right they they are all rich right <laughs> yeah i mean everyone here is uh i know for sure pavel and brock frequent this a lot i'm not sure lemon house how much experience he has on you know there there are satellite winners. This still is three hundred plus thousand, three hundred fifteen thousand U.S. dollars to first. So it is a lot of money they're playing for, and there's a lot of buy-ins. Right, this can add up fast. Ten k, you play a bunch and don't cash or have a bad yeah. stretch. So it does matter. You know, I mean, it's it, it obviously it's all relative, but these guys are definitely playing their best, trying to win. And seven Pavel, eight, he does straight. Goes ahead and I like Pavel, over. I mean, uh, Pavel check here. Let's see if he check raises this one. No. And uh, we will see a check check. 
no yeah, point of be... value betting a 10 here. Pretty thin. Does check and picks it up. Again, another pot for Pavel. Very dangerous player. Yeah, as you can see, Pavel uh, decided to play a bit more passive against chip, the chip leader here. He doesn't want to get involved in too many big pots against him since uh, they both have a big risk premium. So. I would like to see a call here from Big Blind against Low Jack. We, we dominate a lot of uh, their hands. We don't want to trip at fold a uh, good combo like this. Wow. Big board here. Two pair, two pair. Flush as possible, six. straight as possible. Ace Jack, Queen Jack suited. And I mean, if you're Queen Jack suited, this is a bit dicey yeah, too, I right? Think I I think uh, we are playing uh, with call here, our entire range. No point of uh, raising anything on a monotone board. So we will see, check call twice and evaluate river. Axel should bet here. He goes for uh, how much? It's a bit blurry on my end. I think 527. Yeah, half pot. Barak can't fold this one, I think. Yeah, you start you start thinking about the bluffs though, or where you're at against, or what yeah. these king do. You start yeah, getting a little bit. Yeah, he's in a tough spot. He, I think he's deciding again uh, between fold or call. Yeah, I mean, definitely, definitely dicey. He did get three. He opened and got three bad out of the big blind, too. So uh, it is a clean yeah. run out for Ace Jack, and this is problematic. So he checks, wow. I guess. and Axel checks. No. I don't, I don't like Axel checking here. I think Barak can still have some hands to call him off. And if if you check what – uh, and Barak jumps – I guess you call, right? I mean, he doesn't realize much by checking. <laughs> but good, good thing for Barak because Barak uh, had the easy check back there, uh, so he wasn't put uh, himself in in a tough spot on the river. Yeah, that could have played out a shoves. couple different ways. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, that was. Uh... Wasn't sure how that was going to go down, but that was a interesting run out. Ace Queen suited now for Vladimir and the, the chip leader raising and 20 ish bigs. Pretty, pretty, pretty good spot for Ace Queen suited. Yeah. And is going to raise not all in. He knows that the lemon might. Uh, he have some bluffs here, so that's why he decided to trip and not all in. Lemon can jam uh, weaker races. Lemon uh, started to, to open a lot. It's interesting what Pavel will decide here. Okay, Barak have a clear call and Pavel just uh, squeeze spot. Yeah, Barack. I mean, Barack gonna get put in a tough, a bit of a tough spot. I guess it's gonna be a yeah, big raise, and then he is currently five or left, and he is right there on the four or five. But you know, it starts getting less exciting when you're flipping at best, pretty much. And he will get out of the and way. Folding there, sevens so. here for Ace King is pretty good. Yeah, yeah, narrows the gap and fold, fold fours there from Barack. Yeah, yeah, a bit uh, tight fold by him. It's cut off. So, I guess, yeah, what do you think he opens at what stack depth? Does he go ahead and open that up? Little I will more. open from that stack uh, depth also in cutoff. Yeah, it looks like he's uh, got a little different game plan. Also, the chip leader maybe in the big blind. I think I think the Vladimir is, you know, it's a shove stack, but, 
you're not going to get jammed on much there. So he, I'm a little surprised as well as we see two, two nothings on the King King Jack go to battle. Wow. Aces now, but uh, nobody got anything. So we yeah. see welcome just an sight open and take it down. Axel, not interested closing the action. I mean, is this something you've noticed a tendency where the big blind folds more? Like closing the action, I would think, you know, suited suited hands, closing action. I see it seems like people are folding a little more than normal. Yeah, yeah. People are folding a lot, uh, for sure. But uh, in final table, it's fine to fold some suited hands from your bottom of the range, like seven yeah. deuce, eight deuce. Uh, you have a... I see him here pressure, right? Two stacks uh, beneath you, so I like Excel uh, folding with seven new suit. But the uh, CPV is not even close. I like Axel's game. He's showing some moxie. He's he's putting on some pressure, putting you know spots that are close, taking yeah. them, opening it up, putting pressure. Also, Lemo House is doing uh, a lot of three bet folds. Three bit bluffs and a lot of opens. Let's see if Barak uh, will three bet or shove, but it's a clear three bet to induce. And we see. Yeah, Lemon, Lemon gonna earn himself some action when he does have a hand. He's definitely opening, opening a wide range of hands. He's been three betting a bit light too. He's definitely playing the game and. You know, that's one of the things where you pick up a lot of uncontested pots. Also, then people take a stand. And at some point, you just have the goods and people get put in a bad spot. That's generally how it goes when you're aggressive, but also not blind aggression, right? You find spots, you kind of, you, you, you appear aggressive, but you're not giving it away. And he is definitely appearing aggressive right now as 10 deuce jack queen. Both players going to make a pair jack queen a much better flop. Yeah, we will see a C bet here. Oh, or Whoa. not. Uh, and uh, Queen Jack now it's behind. But uh, with good uh, rivers. I think Pavel can go pretty big here, yeah, for sure. Uh, we'd, we we can't bet too small here since Barak will have a lot of Queen X, King X in the range. Uh, a lot of 10 X, so we want... Uh, to put value uh, straight from the turn. And now we have a, a value bet on the river. I'm uh, interested uh, to see Pavel's choice of sizing here. We don't want to go too big. Yeah, 68% or something. And now Barak yeah. is in a tough spot. He's, he's got like the flashes. cards he's too. He's got, the queen, he's got the queen of clubs. Yeah. He's... Hmm. I think Barak can make some falls like this. He did it uh, twice already, so... I think he can find a fall here. Pavel won't have too many bluffs here. Yeah, he's just got some key cards. I think he's kind of in the middle. He almost wants to like turn his hand to a bluff, but he's also got top pair. So how can yeah. you? So now it's like, does he call? He's like, well, what do you got? He's like, I got a, I got a key card here, the queen of clubs. I would love to see a shaft here because people are not finding the the right bluffs uh but i think a shove will be pretty nice he might i mean he's definitely considering all options i wouldn't be shocked i mean most people yeah. do not make this shove the shove would be a little wild but at the same time it would you see how the powerful it would be I will take a lot of time to hear. I mean, it's it's so close between all the options, you know. Like, I 
I, I would be, I think the amount of time he took though, like that's something you don't really see as people with like the nuts are super strong hand taking the thing, time and shoving. We... I, something you rarely see. I think he is at this point in between call and fold, but this guy is also a super tough player. Definitely has are, all the. Are we folding to Pers if we shove here? This is what we need to think here. It's it's Pavel folding here, uh, Jack nine or Jack six or ten deuce if we if we shove. Because Good question. He, I don't know. Maybe this this amount of time bank would be yeah. crazy to see a raise. What? <laughs> I don't know. Yeah. I, I I don't think I've ever seen like that much of a time bank and then a raise on a spot like nothing like this but if, if he did that'd be a good question i don't know pavel would not love it obviously what is barack gonna do guys he's used a lot of time girls guys at home one for a call two for a fold what do you think three minutes already into time bank it's uh -huh. i think he's gonna fold yeah me too i just think he takes this long he's really thinking about it and it's just so much of his chips and I, I just think that, I don't know. I generally think in these spots, people fold after they take, oh, and sometimes we're wrong. There you go. Jack Queen calls. He doesn't like it. You could tell he didn't like it. Havel does. He, he, he knew that he will lose, but the math, uh, the math probability, uh, he, he could, uh, sometimes you, you just follow the math in the right spots, right? So you can't fall because you know you, you need to call a decent amount of the time there. So you know that you will lose a lot, but even the EI, you know, uh, is saying uh, that your hand is losing, but you need to call more than 50% of the time to, to avoid getting bluffs too much. So it's fine. Yep, here we go. 30K, 60K. Blinds are up. Barack, your short stack. Vladimir also a bit short on 16 blinds. Pavel is your chip leader. And he is just, like you said, he's been hot this year. He's got things working right now. He's got the chip lead and some short stacks. And this is a, we are 45 minutes into the show. We're down to five handed with two shortish stacks. So this has been a blast off start today. We've seen some all ins. We've seen some. I, don't, I mean, I don't want to say coolers. We saw a couple of spots where it was a little bit wide, right? The aces, queen, jack. We've seen some of the short stacks just go right out. So this is, uh, yeah, it's got the makings for a short day, but you never know. Things can also go for a long time as the stacks get deeper and it gets shorter fast. So wide open, we welcome you in. Appreciate you guys. We got multiple giveaways. Jeff Gross Poker Twitter, $50 cash, and we have a last longer between... Belay and I for a fifty or hundred dollar ticket for you guys. I think currently you have Pavel, you have Barack. I have I Barack. Have... I have Pavel, and uh, that's it, I guess. Yeah, you pass yeah, you on have Vladimir. The Brazil. You have Brazil. You have Lemon, and you have Vladimir. Looks good. It's looking looking good, but long way to go. Pavel, you're never out with when he's one of, when he's chip leader. And you got five left. I like your chances too. This is uh, it's going to be anyone's game today. As fours does call. Pavel's got seven high. Gut shot. What happened here? I think it was a uh, Ray, raise pre flop and a defend. And uh, Pavel lit. Yep. Mm. And the three run out, seven, five, does not make a straight, doesn't make a pair. He's got one of the worst hands he could have ever here. I, I, I would have liked to see a check raise or a check call five, seven there. Not sure if we have a lead there on eight, nine deuce. In my opinion, we don't. And four is going to stick in and go for a call. Yeah, I think Lemon knows that he shouldn't lead from big blind too much. So when he leads, I think it's a bit more inclined to have uh, more bluffs. I don't see Pavel leading a nine here or two pairs or a set. So uh, I think he will be a bit unbalanced in this spot by leading. Maybe he thought, maybe he misplayed because he's... Seen like small blind versus big blind or something? I don't know. 
Yeah, King Six, Pavel going to come out swinging with a 3X pre-9-7 suit, a nice playable hand in position, does call, kind of just stone miss the flop, doesn't even have a backdoor heart draw, and is going to work. So Pavel showing us, again, deep stacked, out of position, King Six, picking up chips, finding a way to create space and win chips as he gets a nice hand on the button here, ace-jack. He will be offsuit. very aggro now. He won't be afraid anymore to play against Lemon. He will be... Playing pretty aggro. From what I know, Pavel is pretty aggro. So that's the way to do it. You see an open here for sure. 3x, 2.5. Yeah, this is, uh, this is. This is, I'm a little surprised Axel doesn't defend their deep, the 6 2 suited, right? The closing the action. Does that surprise you? No, as I said, uh, I think 6 do 7 do he can fold uh, in ICM situations. Uh, bottom of the range, uh, in ICM situations, we can fold even uh, if we close the action. Uh, Especially if uh, two guys are under our stack, right? We we don't want to to have a risk uh, by busting there with before them. Just a shove. The battle of the short is in big blinds. Yep, this is uh, he says few king eight suited. Queen 10. Let's see if Lemon going to keep the pressure on. He is going to open and King 8 suited gets to Pavel fold. Pavel for sure. Closing action here. Yeah, he's going to want to take a look here. He's thinking to trip it maybe. <laughs> it's interesting to see if Pavel will have a check race here with uh, this combo. I think it's it's pretty good uh, to check his uh, 10 deuce deuce with this combo here, but Lemon checks back. Yeah, Robert Queen can, 10 can... decides doesn't want to get checked. Yeah, I really raised. like Lemon to, uh, to have a checking range, including a 10x here, because he's protecting his checks backs on the flop. So I really love Lemon uh, checking, especially after he's seen that Pavel will have a lot of blood from big blind uh, from the hand earlier. So he's trying to exploit him by checking some top pairs and uh, let him bluff. And this happens now. Uh, but the river is pretty bad for Pavel to bluff because uh, now ace highs uh, are having a decent price to, to call on the river. So Let's see if he will bluff uh, the 6-4 here. He, he can't win with 6 high, right? So he he might uh, bluff it. What about the old all-in for, for the million in the middle? Just just absolutely say, wow. hey, I got more dudes. <laughs> I mean, yeah. yeah. No, no, not today. We're not going to see that. But that would be... Yeah. That would be... He realized that, be... that Lemon won't pull the nays here. But uh, yeah, I think a shove here will be pretty sick. Yeah, no, I mean, that obviously that's a bit dramatic, unrealistic. There are two short stacks. I mean, what would you do? You know, that would be a... I mean, if you have a, a deuce, fun spot for Lemon. If you have a deuce, uh, you want to shove? <laughs> that, that's the question. That's why it would have been really interesting. Would have been super, super interesting. 4-7, Jack-8. All right, we're going to see a flop here as we get mid-pair versus a gut shot. And yeah, Barack, 550k. I thought Barack had won before, but I'm that is seen. That is not the case. Barack has four final tables last season for this table. Yeah, been around in this tournament. Some good results. Wants the hardware. Pavel, your only current winner who has taken down GG Millions. We lost Ottomar and Oliver earlier who have won before. Now they have guaranteed uh, 117,000. Next pay jump, it's uh, 
150. Yeah, payouts lower left to your screen. You can see we're guaranteed already down to five, super fast. Already in the 117K payout range. We did lose some guys very quickly in Jack 8. Going to go ahead and take it down. King, queen, suited. Will raise, commit, all in. Queen, nine, suited. Nice hand, the big blind. Not going to go to, what? what's it, for 10 blinds? I mean, it starts getting close. Not going to go there. Not going to give that action. I seen you had the podcast with, uh, with Kevin, with Kevin Hart. You know the guy? Yeah. Yeah, nice. Yeah, was actually, I was just with him. He was there at Bill's 55th birthday in Virgin Islands again. He's uh, he he's a, he's actually plays a lot of poker. I don't want to blow up his spot, but he's hmm. he's pretty pretty good at poker now. He's literally he's played a lot, and he's gotten to be known as like a like you know knows what he's doing. So yeah, he enjoys enjoys to play tough player. Uh, as we see, seven eight suited Jack nine Barack gonna have the best hand. Gonna be hard to be doing much here. As a man, Pavel just seems very in tune to the game. He seems to have very good timing, tempo. He knows where he's at. He knows what he can get away with. And he's got good discipline, too. I think just really, really aware of what's going on. Tough player to play against. Yeah, for sure. I think we will Jack. see a shove by Jack Nine suit here and a call by for Pavel. I I don't think Pavel will ever fold the uh, King Ten suit here. Let's go. Yeah, it's gonna be. I, I just don't see a world where that is going to. I mean, it's it's actually sort of close, as you said. Yeah, having he might the short think stacks. to put more. Yeah, having the short stacks, it's uh, better for him. But still, a pay jump is a pay jump, and I think we are crashing. Uh, I mean, not crashing, but I think we dominate uh, uh, button range there. Against 10 blinds will be a bit more close, but uh, I call even against 10 blinds in that spot. He will shove all the jack 9, jack 10, queen jack, queen 10, queen 9 suit, all the small pairs. We are doing pretty good. But again, I think his strategy is to put pressure on the bigger stacks and let the shorties in. That's a, a good strategy too. Barak didn't shove there, 10 blinds, which is decent. Yeah, Axel Rose really not been getting involved closing action. We've seen him pass. I mean, now like the two short stacks, of course. But again, there's you can see a flop. You can... You can definitely wow look at this i mean fold six do suited for defend don't defend and yeah. then just go right into aces on this a random is a bit out of line for sure uh we don't have any blocker i don't see any reason to to three bet especially against a chip leader that will put a lot of pressure on you take this click back Yeah, maybe just save face at this point. I mean, we've seen some crazy plays in our day, but this would be, I think you got to draw the line here and just chalk this up to bad timing as 7-5, uh, well, known as the Windsor, 7-5 actually suited in, in Windsor, Canada, we used to play. But this this one is, let's yeah, that'll be the end of that story. That is going to be more chips to Pavel. The other two players like to see the action. They're hoping for some cooler and a pay jump, but as it stands, Barack and Vladimir now are Aces battling. For Luxel. Wow, wow. And After to be fair, at seven five, you get aces. Is this how <laughs> how poker works? To be fair, Pavel days. has been pretty active, right? So, like Pavel, when he gets resistance here, he's may just, you know, he's 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 open wide, he's played wide, and he's got a pretty strong hand five handed. Yeah, 
And don't what just do you think jump on me. flat or click hey guys. It flat? Hello. Oh, look at this. Who's that? It's my dog. My dog called Ace. <laughs> Ace. Ace for aces. Yeah. Ace got a little excited. He he knows when the aces are around, he feels it, and the ace queen just flats as the when I scream comes ace, ace. <laughs> he he will answer, you know. He will he will come here. <laughs> He's uh, ace queen off. I mean, let's see if ace queen off can not go crazy. Can't blame for calling there. Yeah. And we see oh, a check. We have a free river with ace queen. That uh, that's nice. I hope Pavel don't bluff here. Definitely bets his gut shots. That's something we've seen. Yeah. Aces won't go anywhere, for sure. Yep, and now gets called. And I mean, honestly, yeah, Pavel doesn't, he's going to not think he has the winner so much here. Bet, check, call. Yeah. So, but you know, what? Now he, now, now he needs to think about his bluffs and where his bluffs are coming from. Are we bluffing his queen? Are we... In the bottom of our range to bluff this one. I, I think we can have better bluffs and blocking. Okay, we are blocking king queen, we are blocking ace king, but uh, I think we we can slow play this on turn, checking and deciding a river. Uh, we can. Is he considering today, shoving right? though? Because with the two short stacks and just thinking yeah, how yeah. how his opponent. Would would approach this, this in this situation, and what what does he really have? You know, the thing is though, he blocks aces, he blocks queens. You start thinking about wow, so he goes for the one point one, and this is, I mean, this is definitely a very yeah. tough spot for Axel. And honestly, maybe look stronger than shoving, right? I, it's like, hey, yeah, for sure. I have a king, and I want to value bet it uh, with this size, but I don't think aces are falling here. Right. It's also saying, hey, if you call, you're still in and there's still two other guys in instead of like you're going out. So this is actually the level yeah. war here. Axel can't believe this board. He's just thinking, did this really happen? Does my opponent have king queen, king jack suited? You know, is this is this how it went down? Is this how I'm getting done? Did he did he, did he somehow turn tens full or flop eights full? Putting a lot of pressure on, on Axel here. Very, very tough spot. Chess clock being used, rightfully so. Every player has a bunch of time left. There's been a quick work final table. One hour in, we have lost four players and a couple short stacks right now. Pavel has got his opponent in the blender, although he is he's light. It's another spot like that. You know that you can lose. You can you will lose a lot here, but you have a pretty good hand to call, right? You can beat some value bets, maybe. Wow. There you go, Watch Pavel, your champion Watch of the past, and you're live. He's won some live majors, and he has got the moves. Shows us how aces to ace, queen off in position, utilizing a situation, some ICM, and some clever bet sizings got his opponent to fold. And really, I mean, you can't blame Axel. If in his perspective, it looks yeah. very strong yeah. there. And let's be clear, he was bluffing there. Obviously, ace queen. He knew he did not have a was pretty sure he didn't nice have a winner, set, yeah. and he did put the pressure up. And here, though, he again leveraging with two short stacks. It's almost yeah. you're like you could say, "Oh, what's the big so, deal? I'll call one, and there's still one." But actually, the two shorties you can leverage off them off each other. You can leverage the other. You can see like the that, strategy that, that yeah. Pavel is using here, uh, folding a lot versus shorties and putting pressure on the bigger stacks. This is yeah. how. How we do it, yeah. Now I would like to see a three bet. Wow, or a shove. that's really nice. Uh, he knows that Axel will overfold here uh, a lot, right? Especially, I, I don't think Axel it's a reg in this takes, so I think he found the right guy to bluff and the right guy to put pressure on. Wow. Adjusting at the table, it's really important also. 
to realize what are the the opponents who call a lot or we will fold a lot afraid of um, calling some some marginal hands or let's see jack 10 suited here this yeah. is for like wow. five bigs yeah <laughs> this is honestly Pavel, this is a this has been a very interesting final table. The blinds are up 3570k. Pavel's really had a field day at the moment. He's asserted himself to seven mil. Jack who's off. You can see he's even like thinking, I want to open here, but I'm not. He just wants to pick up pots, put people in tough spots. The structure in this tournament is so so great, man. I would love to see a good uh, a, a structure like this in some lower games as well. You know. I I miss playing this deep in final tables. These days in uh, low medium, you don't see uh, this structure anymore. He's okay. I was thinking now shove would be a little too crazy. Look at this aces again. A lot of aces. Shove would be a little too wild with the one point six stack. I mean, if he was on the no, button, way, way too one, wild. Two, three bet here. Yeah. Wow. Oh. That's a big shove. Yeah, Axel kind of letting us know what his strategy is. Yeah, he he just want to don't don't play post flop, right? Especially after uh, he lost, he just lost with aces post flop, so he doesn't want to get involved anymore with aces post flop. Yeah, he's basically had an aces nightmare. He got the minimum, just jams on an open, and then he had to, and then he got bluffed after the flop so but again look he's in third right he Three five look at the payouts on the third place alone is 192 fifth is 117 so a lot a lot of money up there he realizes it's his to lose yeah top three top three for him it's yeah it's big money here right yeah it's if you look at axel he did come in as the second stack very close to the chip lead and he also has not a lot of experience on GG, over 100K total earnings. You know, I'm not, not that that's not a lot, but in this field size, you look at the other players, their total winnings are yeah. 7 million, 7 million, 2.5, <laughs> 10 million. So one of the less, less experienced players that is here, and he is, you know, he's doing well. He's in there. He's three of five. What else can you ask for right now? He's got himself a good opportunity for a big payday, hoping to get at least third in his mind, I would imagine. Got 500 watching. Welcome, everyone. Let us know where you're watching from. Hit that thumbs up. We appreciate it. That'll be the first part of the second giveaway. I got the Jeff Gross Poker Twitter. Also $50. Appreciate you guys. Welcome in again. GG Poker about to hit 300K subscribers. Hit that subscribe button as well. Appreciate all of it. We really are enjoying ourselves today. And again, been so far so good in terms of fast play. Been quick, been exciting. But again, blinds get it, uh, if it goes fast, that means people are deeper. We do have a couple big stacks, so we definitely could be in for a longer match. Although, Pavel is, you know, he seems like he makes quick work of things. He definitely is uh, not sitting back. He's going to put some pressure on as we see Queen Jack, Queen Six, Queen Jack with the best hand. So, Barak opens Queen Jack offsuit from eight big blinds. Hmm, interesting. And then, uh, he got bluffed from a weaker queen. <laughs> yeah, I think I would like to see a sharp queen jack there. We are the shortest. Oh, computer hand, see. queen seven offsuit against ace deuce. Any Ann Arbor, Michigan friends out there? We Seven know East Deuce is now there. drawing to the three. three needs to ace. hit a straight oh, on the river. Ace, no good. Yeah. No good. And GG Barack, thumbs up. Good game. Claps. Good golfer game. claps all around. We are down to four. And another payout there as Axel looks at Vladimir, kind of eyes him up, sees that he's short. Yeah, I and think it's, it can get it in here for sure. Lemon will open uh, pretty wide. And uh, we are the shorty. So good luck to us. To him. Yep. Both of them. 
queen and ace eight ace eight that's pretty definitive and he's running something special that's not going to be it we got a double up axel going to be sweating because now it's a little tighter between three and four everyone guaranteed a hundred and fifty thousand that's 15 buy-ins in this tournament everyone gonna be pretty happy but again a lot of money up top the the title the prestige and we are going to see who's going to get it done king jack suited will play going to open up here pavel will pass doesn't take every spot yeah I think uh, out of position, we want to use uh, mostly uh, A6 suited in this spot because we will get called a lot by in position players. So we want to have a better um, uh, coverage on the boards, right? We yep. want to hit flashes or flash draws. And he knows also that Alex, uh, Axel will play pretty tight. So. 7-3 suit, just an open on his blind. Jack Queen 8-6, pick it up. Lemon House, who again was the chip leader to start, has been pretty solid here. He's sort of letting Pavel do some dirty work. He's also gotten aggressive here. Jack Queen off, certainly forehanded under the gun. Going to open, going to get resistance. Vladimir with a very strong pocket kings there in the small blind. Thinking what to do. Does he have a three bet non all in? That's I think a shove, a shove here will be a bit. I mean, I will just jam uh, since we don't have too many three bet uh, bluffs here. Our stacks wants to play uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah. We are jamming case eight off, but we are jamming also the nuts. Ace King, Axel, the Brazilian, gonna go ahead and kick it up. No, no one yeah, with just much to play with. Open and folds. Or maybe Lemon does uh, something. Lemon is pretty creative, so we will see a nice battle between him and Pavel. Again, an open take it down, I guess. If Axel uh, all the seven deuce suits, maybe he will fold also six seven. I will flat here for sure. Yeah, six seven king queen suited. Nice flop for king queen suited to miss. You got the two overs backdoor straight, backdoor flush draw. Can put pressure yeah, on. Yeah, we want to bet here. Yeah, for sure. And six seven just really misses completely. But we did see actually some so... random aggression with the check yeah, raise so... with the five seven off. So... so he might do a check raise here. He's thinking about it. Yeah, he certainly is. And let's he does go, go Brazil. <laughs> Vamos, Let's this go. is this guy. This guy, this guy's got moves, man. He's got real moves. This yeah. is uh, and the, the weird part, King Queen Sue. This is one of the stronger hands where you miss. Yeah, so he, it's like he's short though. It's uh, you hit your life a bit here, but at the same time, you I think you want to call. You have two overs. You have a backdoor state, backdoor flash draw. You don't know if your opponent will bet again turn, so... Oh! Wow. What a, what a random bluff we see here, and... It will work, I think. It's, su it's such a crazy... It really is a crazy hand, and the fact that Vladimir is this skeptical, right? I guess he doesn't have any hearts. And there's a likely the the bluffs are hearts, you know. The board pair is like the the check raise like for value or, or semi bluffing would be a heart combo. If you look think about that, you're you're doing pretty good against a lot of heart combinations. The problem is you still if you could have two live cards plus the hearts, you're guessing you could be dead. And this player's played a bit bit different, right? He's played a little bit. You, it, it, he seems tight, right? You see the seven five yeah. off random bluff, but like overall, he all seems, the days is there. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and some yeah, sometimes even a tight player can go wild, right? We are humans. We, 
We have a motion, so. Yeah, pretty crazy hand here is the the uh, the random six seven off going to get the full then and then ace eight Vladimir ace eight suited does get to rip it in on the open so one point one million and a couple of tens in the big blinds thirty five seven we're starting to get short starting to get tight you start thinking the the, the limp range you know how wide is it how aggressive you want to go I mean Jack five suited. Yeah, jack four, jack three, jack five, we can use to, to raise here. And I like that he's doing this. Not a lot of players we will do this with uh, suited hands, but we wow. want to have some suited hands here. Uh, Just call from suited. Pavel. Yeah, pretty nice. Pretty nice what I see here from Pavel. Uh... And Pavel giving flop. him all the rope, pre-flop, flops, top set, checks. He has his opponent down to a gut shot draw with one to come. And maybe now Vladimir with this board will start taking a stand with a you know relevant card and also just one of the worst hands he can have. Going to be hard to win if he checks here, so I imagine he bets. And wow, Ooh. this is one of those ones you just can't make up. This is such a bizarre yeah. hand where <laughs> blind on blind, short stack, just call tens, flop top set, check back. Check Your opponent back flop, and... turns runner runner equity and then hits it on the river. And now uh, this is this is definitely definitely a wild. It's pretty wild hard hand. to have a lot of bluffs here against big blind, so I don't think shoving it's a good option. Uh I yeah, I, I really like I really like this size, getting value from a ten, from uh, two pairs. If we shove, big blind will have. Uh, it, we we can't shove because we we can't have too many bluffs here, right? It's very hard to have bluffs when big blind calls turn. Big blind will have a lot of straights, so we can't uh, bluff too much. Nice hand. Uh, Nice hand for the Ukrainian. A bit unlucky, Pavel. Yeah, I'm pretty unlucky. Uh, but but also, I mean, he set it up nice. He went for it, and at the end of the day, you know, he's he's run pretty well overall, right? It's been been a pretty smooth final table thus far for him, and just a little misstep. We are four-handed. We'll cue the giveaway in a little bit. Again, Twitter, Jeff Gross Poker. You guys can go ahead and get involved there. And then we have a $50 or $100 ticket here for the show. And that will be whether one of either Leia's players or mine. So I have Lemon House and Vladimir. I have everyone and you have Pavel, right? Yeah. I have the Chubidar. Yep, you got the chip leader versus the world, but you have six, seven. I got six, pretty even on chips. Pretty even, ace three, king six suited. Always fun to see great players blind on blind. Yeah. And they, he's got the gut shot, ace three. Definitely feels okay to. Yeah, and to bet. I will continue here for sure. And getting there with the king. Let's see what Pavel will do. Lemon will just value bet here, I think. I will uh, I will bet for sure this uh, king x. Uh, Pavel can have a lot of jack x, 5x, large draws. So I will try to get some value. And now Lemon will need to bet. Yeah, King Six. Something around half pot. A bit more.
Yeah, this is uh, you know, you could you can't blame him. It's blind on blind thinking about an ace high. He's got yeah. three blocks, three six. That's a straight. Uh, he's thinking what value hands, what's going on, what does my opponent have? Doesn't have a diamond. Doesn't blow the diamonds. Yeah, it does call. Great players. Yeah. They think it all through. He thought there was enough that looked also capable, right? Lemon House, someone capable, someone that's been going for it. I mean, Axel's going to yeah. look kind of suspicious too with some of these hands he's been playing and been, been kind of randomly betting, but he also made some big folds. So we'll, uh, I will be right back. Blake, please uh, cover the action user restroom. I'll be back with you guys in one minute. Sure. To end me now, guys. Slava Ukraina. I see a lot of Ukrainians in the chat supporting the Ukrainian here that played pretty good, I think. Yeah, this tournament uh, have a title, GG Millions title, which is a prestigious title to have on GG and a badge with it. This is the 10,000 super high roller. And we see a limp by King Queen suit. I would have preferred race calling a king queen suit in this spot, 20 blinds. A set off is just an open. Let's see Pavel if he tributes king, king, king eight suited here. We don't have too much flatting range uh, in final tables in general from small blind. Especially with big blind, especially from small blind because big blind will call as well. So we are playing out of position against two opponents. Even if we are chip leader, our range will be pretty Pretty, defi pretty much defined because we don't have too many strong hands in small blind to, to flat. But Pavel uh, thinks that he can overplay them post flop and he will have a bigger edge on them. So I think that's why he want, uh, wants to play post flop as much as he can. Yeah, interesting here. He does actually have the best hand now, and he's going to not be able to yeah. get to a river there. He did have the best hand and couldn't call down. He's still 6.3 million. He is your chip leader. Short stacks have tightened up a little bit from the, from the leader. I'll uh, just limp here playing with uh, Brazil. I don't want to to lose the equity of the hand when I get uh, raised here, so I prefer playing post flop, even if I'm out of position. Yeah, Axel. I would say Axel's game's been the most interesting. He's sort of really shown us a few different gears, right? He's sort of surprised, yeah. I think, at different stages with aggression and then folding where. You know, I guess the ace's hand, there was a nice story told by Pavel. Yeah, this is why poker is fun, right? You you don't expect. Yeah, yeah. No, it's unpredictable and, for sure. And even someone yeah. you watch or you think you've got a, them figured out their game plan, they can just throw in the 5-7 off. Three bet, <laughs> you get the queen jack jam out of nowhere you know where it's where it's again you can't blame them but it's they got their reasons also there's history these are big buy-in smaller fields right so players have played with each other maybe two three tables left maybe prior events they have a pretty good idea of how the players play so i think uh yeah i think that 
this is you know again one of the one of the biggest stages there is in poker weekly the 10k we played a f the final tables on sunday and then played out on tuesday as we will literally get a i would say likely new champion three out of four haven't won but pavel does have the chip lead one before this season and has 10 final tables which is pretty crazy in this season 2024 so very very impressive from pavel and he is trying to add to his resume i mean the likely challenger here is lemon house right he's got he's on his left he's got more chip or he's got a healthy stack uh, i think he's the most formidable opponent that can give him a hard time but uh, i'd say pavel is definitely playing at a high level here and in the favorite king six yeah lemon is trying to fall some i mean i'm not really sure what he's trying to fall because queen high and king high will never fall on this board so i don't think jack high it's a good bluff candidate uh, on his 5-5 five five, uh, in position uh, and now what it's a bit hard to play now will he bluff again I don't think Pavel is going anywhere here It's such a weird one where like, yeah, you wonder if King high is good. Then you actually hit the King, your opponent's bombing in. And wow. I actually, I actually kind of thought he would fold just cause yeah, I don't know. I mean, it's like, uh, it's sort of, uh, that, that turn is almost like it's weird, right? You, you improve, but you don't maybe need it. You're thinking you're either way good or way not. And he, I think he just thinks he has such a big edge in general. Yeah. That he doesn't want to take a marginal spies out of position. Is his opponent going to slow down on the river? It's a big pot to call. He still has 6 million, still has a chip lead. Maybe he doesn't and... expect Lemon to be bluffing too much. Right. But uh, we can see that Lemon is it's bluffing. Yeah. Maybe a bit too much. Yeah. King 10, queen 4. Queen 4 is not in the lead. And look at this. Queen 4 off just going bombing there. My yeah. man knows what's going on. He really does understand what he's doing and where he's at. Yeah, Pavel, it's a great player. Apparently, someone's saying that Lemon House is playing a cash game 200, 400 with Linus right now. So, again, I don't, we don't have eyes on that lobby. But, uh, yeah, apparently maybe play some high-stakes online cash as well. Probably pretty pretty competent. He's got himself a good situation here, four-handed, trying to get his first GG Million title. King 4 suited, going to go ahead and kick it up. And look at Pavel giving some respect there. King Jack didn't even think about it. Nice, nice hand from from Vladimir getting a better hand of four. Ah, pa Pavel knows that he have chibit here, and he knows that he have some edge on them. So he just uh, taking the spots more carefully. We don't want to lose chibit here. We want to put pressure on them. So. I think betting or checking are both fine with the uh, diamond in your hand here. You can call a raise also. Yeah. Yes, yeah, 6.375 million. Everyone, you know, everyone two different things going got 2 million 1.4 and then you got 6.375 and 5 million so sort of two two different tournaments in a way going on shorter stacks and then the bigger stacks as pavel is your leader and vladimir here going to open a7 off and so we were talking about earlier some of the short stacks and defending or not and here we get a very favorable situation for the defend where top pair versus middle pair ace kicker on the a7 and this could be big trouble for vladimir yeah Yeah, I do think in this spot we have some leads uh, because we are short stacks uh, against the short stacks. So we are playing uh, 15, 
blinds deep. So we want to leave the, our top pairs here. I don't mind the lead. A jack, definitely not a great card for Vladimir. I mean, a pretty good flop for the A7, 9, 7, 4. Not a great card the... for Lemon either. Yeah. True. Yeah, no, he's going to be going to be worried worried about that card definitely connects with certain bunch of stuff going on there as yeah we will go ahead and continue i really like his uh, his bet here he will have the straights he will have the two pairs so vladimir here can really raise And river, we mostly see a check, check. Yeah, definitely or, nine three suited. It got a little worse and worse. A seven also felt bet. good. Yeah, both players equally not probably thrilled. And I'll be it should be a quick check back with a seven. Yeah. Nice hand, uh, lemon house. King ten, deuce four. I would like to five, see an ten. open here. One as a steal, I think it's fine from this stack depth. If you want to open kings, aces, you want to have some open folds and uh, king ten off. I think it's one of them. Yeah, king yeah, jack. I would think shout. that would have qualified in the situation to go for it also the shortest risk premium we talk about that being the least to lose when you're the shortest definitely want to get a little creative and, and find some doesn't opens. matter too much those two blinds for your stack you're still yep. in a danger area yeah and here a seven suited king 10 off and he will raise i would like king to see 10. just a call i don't think we are jamming king 10 I mean, I'm sure I'm not jamming uh, King 10 here, so we just defend, keeping uh, the the lower King X in uh, in the range, right? Because Batman yeah. have all the King deuce to King 9. Well, even the taxi suits. cab, they call it the Houston, going to shove and gets flopped into tough shape. Needs a King, I'm sorry, a 10 or a 10 only on the river. King would not be good. Needs it. Not going to get it. We are down to three. We'll cue the giveaway here in a second. Appreciate everyone watching as we try to cross 300K subs on GG Poker right now. We are going to play to a winner. Welcome. And the final three, it came quick. We're about an hour and a half in, down to three. And it is Lemonhouse and Pavel leading the way. Axel, who's shown us a wide range of game from making some big folds and, and making some wild three bets pre-flop with seven, five off. He ran to aces that time, but he has uh, showed us he's willing to fight and we are going to see a winner. Uh, who do you got Pavel or lemon? If you had to choose right now, who do you think, who do you think is the Pavel favorite? For sure. Pavel for sure. Uh, yeah, I know you're biased. I know you're biased, but he also is, he has played well. He is a former champion. Lemon house. We are told play some big cash. But Looks lemon like have the right tricks now. in him. We yeah. we seen him that he he's doing the bluffs he's doing the the right things so he have uh, his chance here but this is pretty interesting because both have a pair and a, and a gutty there but lemon with the open ended so at the moment Pavel it's ahead somehow with seven nine and he won't go anywhere. I think just a call. And River mostly a check, check. I don't think Lemon House will uh, value bet uh, seven anymore. Take it down by Pavel. He just seems to have all the moves. He's pipping, he's slightly ahead, he knows where to do. I think he's really not had a misstep. Today he's uh, he's gotten some good good spots as Lemon House and him are literally tied. And, uh, go... Ten three suited. Let's see. Oh, okay, so he's folding a bit more. Uh, at this point, we are defending even seven due suited because we are last in chips. Uh, we don't have much ICM pressure anymore. So 
we can play close to to GPV in these spots here. As the shortest. Jack, Especially uh, against a guy like Pavel who opens 9-6 there, so Pavel realized that uh, the Brazilian uh, guy is overfolding from big blind, so he's uh, starting to, to open 70% or so from button, which is nice. Alright, keyword for the $50 giveaway, GG Poker Space. Wow. Leah, and then enter your wow, look at that, and then enter your GG Poker username. Uh, will be 50, 50 or $100, depends who wins. Good luck, there we go. It is in there, that is the keyword GG Poker space, Balea space, Balea space, Good luck, GG Poker. guys. Good luck. That's a nice one, right? 50 or 100 bucks. And then the Twitter, we got a live. We got two live giveaways. We will play again to a winner. And this has been a very entertaining match. Lemon House showing us some game. So Pavel if I win, and, they win 100. Uh, it's 50 if one if Pavel wins. It'll be 100 if one of my guys win. And then the, the Twitter giveaway is for 50. Um, okay, so for the sake of the chat, I I need to you to win, right? <laughs> Well, so they make more money if you win. They will, but there's a dinner on the line for us, and that's you know we gotta have a little <laughs> sweat. It's a fifty or a hundred dollar GG poker ticket, so it's uh it's okay. There's a Twitter as well. Twitter's alive, so you know people are gonna win. Someone people are winning stuff today. Fifty one hundred K blinds. Here we go. It is time to get moving. The blinds are up, and we are we are at one hour and a half in the show, and we see Pavel blind on blind gonna limp in. A little different situation now. The short stack, king queen suited. That is a lot of hand for the big blind. <laughs> and oh, she is not going to let a free one go. Aces, I hear your your dog Ace in the background getting fired up, feeling it. He sees the podium. Everyone here guaranteed a nice payout. You can see the payouts. One ninety two locked up. Big score. It's a lot of Brazilian reais for Axel. I was just in Brazil. It's about five to one. So he is he's got himself about a milli in reais coming his way at least. And he's got to get through two tough opponents, but I'm sure he's eyeing up the first prize as there is a lot to play for. No deals, no deal making in the GG million. That's one of the things. Uh, I believe Mario Mosbach just took down the GG million live and tried to Mosbach, for man. Great player. Great player. He's also been on my podcast. He's been a guest on the GG millions as well here. You know, I've seen that recently. There's been Jonathan Jaffe also is just on the show. He took second for a million in one of the events. Wow. there. So there's been some booth <laughs> booth magic, my man, but I think you got yourself uh, no pressure, but you know, if nice. you have a big score, you can shoot me a message. That's definitely been sort of a bonus as of late. It seems to be a lot of uh guests, but of course you guys are already, you have a players, good flow, so man. <laughs> good I can't, flow, good can't life, claim credit for the show, but it's been, been some booth magic for sure. Sorry for that. What? No worries. Two, three, queen, deuce, queen, deuce. Both players with a pair. The queen is a winner. And honestly, on this run out, looks like Lemon's deciding. He doesn't know. Does he need to turn his hand to a bluff? Does he have showdown? And he is going to bet. And honestly, Axel, you know, it's it got oh. worse and worse, right? Flushes get there. There's a straights now. There's the ace you lose to. Your kicker's not good on the queen. I mean, there's this is not a fist pump spot. Yeah, but in the same time, we we are blind on blinds. Yeah, no, for sure. It's the, it's hard to make a pair. It is hard to make a pair. Yeah. And he's the shortest, so he might consider okay. I'm the short stack. Uh, if I call and I'm good, I can win a 1.5 million. So that's double of his stack. So we need to take all the factors in the consideration here, how it's affecting our stack, how it's uh, improving our future game here. Uh, if Lemon House is capable of bluffing or not. And I think he is, as you can see. So I think uh, calling here is, is pretty good. Nice, nice nice call. I mean, I do think, yeah, you like you said, it's not like the craziest call ever, but it's also 
No, it's a big swing. Now he's got 2.6. He's back in the match. Yeah. If he loses there, he's sort of halfway out the door, and he will pick that up and put himself in a good, I should say, a better position. Still a lot of work to do as we see two nice hands here. I think Queen Ten Suda going to be happy to defend and gets the advantage out flops Lemon House. Although, see bad range in this spot from Lemon for sure. So we have a bad taste king. Yeah. For 33% or so. And Pavel, I think he will have a clear call. No point of bluffing is king here, in my opinion. We have a lot of good rivers and uh, we can still be good with ace high. Pavel will have a lot of 10x and jack x. Uh, Pavel wow. folded a lot against him, so uh, wow, he's still folding. He's blocking also some of his bluffs, but I'm not a big fan folding, man. <laughs> That's uh, what can I say? Yeah, I mean, the size was large. Really, really a nice bet. I mean, he got the yeah. job done. I don't know if he's going to get jacked to fold the 10, you know, for that sizing. Pavel just decided he can find better spots. But, yeah, really he interesting. He pretty hand. fast. I mean, it's interesting that he didn't even consider holding or adjusting Lemon's range. Yep, 7-10, 5 deuce, 5 deuce, got the low end gut shot, but not much going 7-10 with the pair. And you can see the chess clocks, everyone with around 7 minutes, pretty healthy on the time bank situation. How many turns Lemon House did uh, played this Lemon season? Lemon House has not played until season 2, played 3 times with a cash, and then this 2024 season has 3 caches, 12 appearances, first final table, so... Not a ton of tournament earnings on GG. Apparently playing some 200, 400 cash game right now. So, you know, firing. Not I was scary. wondering if Pavel have some infos on him, if he was playing a lot on, with him. And we can see that Lemon is bluffing all a lot of spots right so that's why i would prefer calling uh a bit more than pavel because lemon is taking all the spots what is the yeah. size here it's a bit blurry it goes for five nine gets it done my our guy is Eight, really nine, been firing off yeah. into a some good some good bluff sizings and getting some good results thus far putting pressure on with air very light hands now i'm not that comfortable that power will win yeah lemon house now has the chip lead and has been playing very well axel roses with the 10 five suited Third and does call, and everyone's got a little something. We got top pair, we have over pair. Hard to have an over pair to the board with sixes. Has done that in very good shape. Eight six has backdoor spades, two overs, 10 five suited backdoor flush with top pair. And we're going to see sixes lead out. Yeah, we're not folding these highs here, so. I'm not a big fan of leading these boards that uh, is high will have a clear continuation. Uh, it's interesting to see what Pavel will do here because he have a gut shot and a backdoor. Yeah, 10 is a pretty relevant card. It looks irrelevant, right? On this board, no ace, no four. The six yeah. you're blocking. I think open sixes, is sixes you would make a set and the 10 five smashes. Two pair and Axel, although is going to feel really good, is in good shape. Uh, Definitely some hands he could be worried about. We've we seen that he he played pretty scared here, so I think he will shove here a lot. Uh, we've seen a lot of shoving by him, like Ace King suiting button twenty blinds, 
Yeah. So that those aces that he shoved there for twenty something blinds, right? So uh in general we don't want to have a shoving here because we we don't have bluffs when we shove, right? So uh I'm not a fan of shoving. And sixes I think uh will have a pretty easy fold. Yeah, well, I mean, look, he's he's definitely tightened the gap right now. He's got 3.7, King Jack suited 10 Jack. Pavel will defend. Both players hitting that mid pair advantage, Lemon House. And Lemon House has been chiseling away and actually has the chip lead at the moment. Now, again, second pair for Pavel. He won't go anywhere yet. But let's see Lemon House if he does value bet again. Because uh, King Jack here is pretty good to have. Uh, we can still extract some value from weaker Jack X. But he does check. Yeah, Jack 10. Debating all the options, sort of right in the middle, like on the upper middle of the range. Is going to block her bet and likely this yeah, just gets he will, cold. Lemon just call here, I think. Yeah. It's such a small bet. It does get called. Ace three, open it up. Queen eight suited. Nice hand to defend there, closing the action. I don't see a lot of merit to three bet, although I mean, Lemon House yeah, has played. Yeah, we can three bet some Queen eight offsuit here if we want, if we want. But Queen eight suit is too powerful to do that because uh, it's, we can flop or flush, so we don't want to lose equity. So the offsuit hands we can put them into three bet bluff. East three, queen eight suited. Queen eight suited. We've seen not lemon the dream flop. Jack Big raising flop. some boards. Uh, so he's not folding. I would have preferred a check raise. Uh, yeah. In, on the, on this board, I think it's a little better to to check raise than than check call. Yeah, maybe he just feels his opponent just shuts down without you know yeah. like where he's going to give up. So that's interesting. Yeah, definitely seen some. I don't like some uncharacteristic style like raises preflop. We're also seen some interesting floats and uh, interesting interesting play today. I think we've gotten a mixed bag as both players like the flop open ended. Nice flop nine seven off and eight three off top pair weak kicker and nine seven will be playing for sure. See if check raises in order. Lemon House will go for a big check raise. An interesting spot with top pair. I mean, you kind of don't like this, right? You're like either crushed or against some sort of draw like this where you're potentially, you know, 9-7, the strongest draw on this board. The best open end you could have over the eight. A big, a big raise here by Lemon House, putting a lot of pressure on 6-6, six, six, oh, 8 six. Um Axel, he have the top pair, but uh, he's not sure that uh, he is good now anymore. Uh, I would have preferred to see a raise by A3 offsuit here. I don't think uh, a lot of players are using these offsuit hands to, to raise pre against a limp, even if we are we are against chip leader. Uh, I will still use it uh, as close to pure raise preflop. I think it's much better to to, re, to have a raising strategy with these uh, shitty hands, to say so. 
Oh, oh. I didn't expect that. <laughs> Hand of the day candidate right here. Wow, 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 wow. I mean, honestly, 9-7, how can it go anywhere? But I, like, Yeah, I have, I have decent odds to call here. They need to put uh, one milli for... The crazy part is, milli. Wow. Axel actually may fold based on how he plays if he gets jammed yeah. here with the weakest yeah. eight, right? It's kind of a crazy spot. And I, and Lemon House, I think, has got too much going on here to just give up. So I... I, I does call... Let's see, Triva does here. <laughs> this is interesting on Ace. My God. That's why you don't want to put yourself in some tough spots like this. And he is going to come with the small lead. I mean, this is a wild hand. This is, I'm not going to say hand of the Crazy day. I might hand. say hand yeah. of, the, of the GG millions. This has been one of the more peculiar lines, raises, re-raises, a lead. Yeah. And wow, then they shove. wow, wow. And it's Axel classic. is going to get this done, I guess, right? Now it's like less yeah. exciting to call. I mean, shoving... Wow interesting play and he is back in the game what in a big hand. way we have got a chip leader your brazilian vamos gente all the brazilians out there 6.2 million you have got a chip leader and who would have thought he's done it by chipping up too it hasn't even been like a double crazy crazy game we play Crazy, crazy game we play. Eight, six suited, five, six, ten, eight. Here we go. It is two. Yeah, we see an we are gonna... when when he has some top hands, he he never let them down. So he will just go with them, and it will be interesting here. My man Lemon House loves to lead. He comes out firing, dictating pot size. Here he goes. He has the best hand. And He's now got top Axel, pair. yeah. He's not going anywhere. He will call again turn if uh, Lemon will bet. Okay, now Axel is feeling uh, comfortable with an 8. Yeah. I would love to see a blocking bet here by Lemon. Something like 250. There yeah. you go. And snap called Axel, had top pair. Nice hand. The gut shot ran out a little scary for everyone, but a winning hand for Lemon. And again, very tight. 192 locked up. Big prizes today. 10K buy-in, 19 plus buy-ins. 315 up top. No deals allowed. We'll play to a winner. You guys are on the action. You got to hit the thumbs up and then type in the GG Poker space, Balea space, your GG Poker username. Or if you don't have one or you can't play in a jurisdiction, gift it to a friend. Why not? Maybe split it with them. And we are going to see how this plays out. And it will be a $50 or $100 ticket for you guys. Also, Twitter, Jeff Gross Poker, pin tweet, $50 cash. We're closing it on 300,000 subscribers. 550 watching now. We've got a treat of a final table. Pavel kind of seemed like he was in charge where it was on his terms. And now the Brazilian Axel Roses has gotten involved. And Lemon House also very capable in there. So this is kind of too Five close minutes. to call all of a sudden. I'd say this is a three-way battle. I like my side for the dinner. More chips. Pavel versus the world. At home, though, you guys want we, we you want Axel or Lemon House for the extra fifty dollar giveaway. It'll be fifty or hundred, and we're uh, we're gonna have some fun with you. We're gonna play to a winner. We are gonna play to a winner. Ooh, hello, Ace Four could be the best hand. Got the gut shot as well. Now he turns the Ace Five. Deuce is no longer in the lead. Yeah, Axel should just check here. No point of betting. Wow. Well, Is he bluffing now? <laughs> I wonder what he thinks here if he's transforming his hand into a bluff. Because he seems like he's bluffing right with a five. I don't I'll be think, honest. Uh... If you're if you're when oh my goodness. This run out for Lemon, super, super dicey board, right? Where you're at now. You yeah, but at the same time, better. Axel now will just check, right? Because he can't really bluff anymore because an eight will call, a seven will might call. So 
What, what about a block, like will be pretty... What about like five or six hundred from Lemon here? Yeah, that's that will be nice. Yeah, wow, a bit smaller. I think I will go for three hundred or something. Uh, yeah, something between ten and eighteen percent. Will be nice to see a shove by Axel <laughs> because he can do it. Man. Axel realized here that he's beat, right? He he doesn't beat anything with a five uh, as played. Lemon will always have an eight or a seven. So now he realized that he's beat and he's transforming his hand into a bluff. The uh, sizing looks scary. I, I don't know if Lemon with that bet into that but, pot, uh, he's just going to have fall. to call. And uh, Axel fall, yeah. comes and goes with some a nice stack as he is back to 3 million. But still, what he was very short. So he's still in the mix, 3 million, still playing some poker. He's in there battling, bluffing, playing, shooting. I mean, that size was a, that was an outrageous turn bet. He set up a big pot uh with the with that he went for it and stepped into it but lemon house is your chip leader seven million back in control where he started the day as your chip leader with 78 big blinds finds himself leading three-handed I think Lemon House played uh, played the best game here uh, the, this final table from what I seen. Yeah, he's played well. I mean, I, honestly, Pavel impresses me whenever I see him, and Axel's really just kind of been all over the place doing some hard to predict right it makes he's been yeah just when you think you're like oh he's gonna play really snug he just starts going going wild seven five off three betting but his timing was off too it's crazy because he built a nice image and then he just like went right into aces with like a random bluff early and some other spots then he folded aces and now he's better a, betting a, at six but uh no good I don't know why Lemon is taking so much time. I, I don't think we want to lose too much time here. Wow. Oh. Wow. You were closing in on two hours. Seven, Lemon nine. raised for value. This is pretty sick. Nice hand. Nice hand, sir. Lemon what now for value there? extending 8.3. Has more than the other two combined. Pavel hanging close with 4.7 ish. Still pretty big separation there between Lemon and Pavel. And here we go. It is ace five. I think Lemon realized that Axel doesn't like to fall too much on post flop, post flop especially. So now I think that's why he raced on turn. But it was a nice value bet. Better days. <laughs> yeah, Lemon going to work. Axel needs a little bit of help. Pavel looking to eye up another title. Would be a new champion if Axel or Lemon gets it done as we see aces in, this, in the big blind. 4-6 off, 45 blinds effective. Probably going to still be... Oh, this is close to just mucking. He does decide. We've seen him do that with some some pretty modest yeah. holdings, decide to just muck, which I think is does make sense. You do want to have some fold, so he picks that as Lemon. Now it's again in the other part of the strategy where he needs to play a bit more passive. He's not chip leader anymore, so he does, doesn't want to get involved with uh, Lemon in too many spots. Will be interesting to see what Pavel will do here to. to I think Axel's the likely going to jam. There you go, low pair. Going to yeah. get some folds in Lemon House. Pretty close, seventeen, yeah. maybe too much. Too I think much. it's a fold. Yeah, it's a bit too much. Eight state suits. I think it will be yeah. the bottom. Yeah, I mean, you're yeah, you're just not in great shape. You do have the chip lead. Don't want to be gambling against hands like that or king, whatever, king, queen, sort of best case scenario. So is going to fold queen four, king, jack, jack, nine suited, button raise, king, jack, Pavel, 
sees i think axel's a little bit aggressive decides here maybe to put the really like up the stairs here. but uh, oh. axel doesn't go anywhere uh, it's interesting to see what size we'll use power here. Okay. And Axel, I guess he's feeling comfortable with a 9. Wow. All of them. Yeah, I mean, Pavel, this and actually... Pavel helped. hates, yeah, hates, hates his it. life here. Yeah. Yeah. Over the Nagati, uh... yeah, that's uh, that's kind of a crazy, crazy spot. Lemon, does he want to start getting saucy? A little three bet king three suited, knowing Pavel's gonna be you know, not not a spot most are gonna take, but Lemon, I just feel like that's his game, he's gonna take these spots, he realizes what's happening, and Pavel kind of knows great he's up to no good, yeah. King X and A6 uh, are the best candidates to 3 bet there, suited. Especially as chip leader. And uh, this is a good bluff candidate for Pavel again. So we can see a 3 bet here. Yeah, these guys are playing. People are picking spots. People are going for it. He fits the whole enchilada there. Yeah, they, they don't know what they are doing. I would have preferred to have a 3 bed non all in in a big blind because if we are shoving a deuce off suit, uh, we can't really 3 bed aces, right? I mean, what else we can bluff? 3 bed as a bluff there. So I want to have some 3 bed fold in my range in big blind yeah this is uh this is gonna go i mean this is wide open honestly lemon house sort of found back the separation in the lead is chess clock down at 345 taking his time can taste the possibility of the win here 315 up top big score available and pavel with the second place stack right now wheels spinning jack three with the both players just completely Can't do much, whiffing. Pavel. Can't do much against Lemon. No. Nope. Gonna be a pickup for Lemon House. Gonna keep his pressure on. And let's see. I don't know. I mean, raise, I well, I, Lemon House is now, you gotta be, yeah, you said, the favorite, right? This is time. Yeah. It yeah. feels like his time. And I, I mean, I don't know. Actually, I'm, I'm on the fence about this guy's like, he's definitely doing some unconventional stuff, but he's, he's shown some ability. He, got the chip lead. he had the chip lead three handed for a bit. I hope Axel is shove here, right? I mean, no other option. King 10 suited, 7 10, gonna limp in. Definitely a very strong hand. Don't think Lemon's gonna let Pavel just kinda go to work here. He does actually check back, does have showdown, and wow, 7 10 off flops, lightning. King 10 suited, two open ended backdoor flush draw overs. This could be a definitely a very large pot. Are you uh, Lemon House? I mean, I guess it's one of those you don't wanna get check raised, but it's pretty strong to check back there. Yeah, I would have liked to see. I mean, if you bet and get raised, you can still call. So I think it's fine to to see bet this one. Yeah, I think it's probably just at the super top of the checkback range, right? Also, Pavel yeah. is very capable. Doesn't want to get like blown off in there. So I get it. But as played, Pavel has his opponent in a tough spot. This card going to be. Less exciting for Lemon. Would have liked to see, obviously, a straight drawing to the nut straight with the queen, and he was open-ended, so the diamond would have been more interesting. This is a board pair, and now he is, you know, it starts getting actually less appealing. Well, 
one of the worst cards, right? At least no board pair. You know, brings yeah. it back to a flush draw that is he is still gonna call and interestingly wow. enough, seven and now, ten. And now Pavel hates his life, man. And I hate it. Oh my god. Yeah. But it's interesting if he checks, I think Lemon can turn his hand into into bluff here. But it's so sick. It's so sick for Pavel. I think Lemon is the guy to do it here. I mean, Lemon. there is a big pay jump. He also knows, you know, does a uh, capability wow. Pavel could check. This is pretty sick. Pretty sick. If he does this, I'm I'm a big fan of him. I mean, he's got Wow, nice. he went for it. Pavel in Let's the tank Lemon. now. Pavel can't believe the run out. Okay, the eight on the turn, don't love it, right? But the jack, the double board pair runner when you flop the second nut straight against the bluff. And this guy has got what it takes. I mean, he just puts Thumbs it in and now has a situation Lemon. where he's got 10 million to 2.6, 2 million. And that is a masterclass hand. And it's such an unfortunate yeah. run out for Pavel who you can't really blame. For folding that right on that board with that action. Yeah, for sure, for sure, for sure. But not every player is going to take that spot. They're just going to say, you know, Very I'm like a Pavel, uh, I don't want to do it. I don't need to take it. He he he's been pretty unlucky with some runouts in this final table, but uh, Lemon played amazing. I can't remember to to congratulate a player like this like for a long time. I seen a lot of final tables and. I was really impressed today to see Lemon playing like this. You don't see it very often. Yep, that was uh, that was a special hand. There's been a few wild hands. That nine seven offhand to eight three was pretty crazy action as well. The like the leads, the bet size, the the raises. The bluffing. There was, there's been a lot of interesting hands today, for sure. You can have a nice highlight reel today. If you're enjoying it at home, let us know. Hit that thumbs up. Closing in on 300,000 subscribers on YouTube. GG, be a part of that, please. The GG Poker. And, of course, the giveaways. $50 Twitter, Jeff Gross Poker, pin tweet. Get in there. Get get active. We'll select the winner. And then today, you can type in the chat. GG Poker space, Balea space. Your GG Poker username. Chance at 50 or or $100. And guess what? It's looking like two dinners, but, uh, my friend. It's looking like a hundred dollar <laughs> ticket yeah. today because Lemon House is in business with the ladies in the big blind. But one of them, it's when you come to Romania. Remember? All right, I, I, I dig it. That's a country I haven't been to. I, I would like to go. Yeah, you you will love it here. You have mountains, you have seaside, you have everything, and good food, really good food. I love it. Does Daniel Negreanu is he recognized vegan, in the, the streets? Is Negreanu a, a hero in Romania? Does he known? Is he big enough? Is poker popular there? No, no, not anymore. <laughs> no. Uh, I am. <laughs> there you go. Uh, How old no, are you? You said thirty-five. Yeah, thirty-five. Uh, Negreanu is well known. I mean, it's the most known Romanian poker player, right? Right. Uh, but. Uh, he doesn't live here anymore. Uh, he was born in Canada and lived there his entire life, right? I raised and yep. born there. King seven suited. We saw king three suited take the spot. A little shorter though, right? Pavel, less fold equity and just a little too cute. Does give it up. And here, Axel, who's been respecting these situations let's folding a lot let's see with eight three suited does he take a fold or does yeah, he... i like i like the inducing here because if we have uh, we can fold some deuces to fives so i think it's just better to to open and, and do some small pairs to shove on us axel roses has played an interesting brand today will it work out and here we Are go. You vegan? Eight. You're not vegan, no? Vegan, no. You? No. 
Havel is going to step in here and queen jack to eights. We are potentially in a heads up situation, a coin flip, a big one. Axel sweating hard Two paint cards, queen jack there, eight needed. Let's see, a 10 would be a chop, correct? And it is going to yep. be a ace. Yes. So what a board. I mean, if you have eights, you don't want to see that board. Jack King, yeah, for eight, sure. nine, eight, every over in the book came and a 10 would lose two as well. So Pavel, that was a big moment. Axel would have got the pay jump to be heads up. And now Pavel back in the match and we are three handed and Axel is your short stack. So that was a big sweat for everyone involved. Big sweat. King three, six, ten. King high, best hand, calls. Ten, no waiting, right on the turn. Jumps into the lead. Pavel playing some post-flop. Street poker with the best hand, calls, and now he is in a world of hurt. And honestly, if you think you have the best hand here, your opponent keeps betting. You don't have a heart. Big bet, though. Big bet. This one's yeah. hard to stick on. Yeah. Yeah, you can tell Lemon House got some cash game ability. He plays big stack, big poker, plays deep, play, plays plays aggressive, puts pressure on. A lot of big bets, yeah. Yeah. Those guys are those are tough to play against. You know, the small ball poker is like you can go deeper, you can survive, but the guys that really, you know, like the Damo type overbetting and, you know, pressure is it's hard. It's hard to contend with. Jack five, queen 10, jack five, going to flop open-ended. The jack or five would be a winner as well. So a pretty good flop here for jack five. And Pavel, queen 10 off, is going to come out with a big bet. Interesting again to see the, the game plan, the sizing, realizing he's going to put some seven, six, fours in a tough spot. He's going to fold some better hands, you know, that might flat. And then if he doesn't have a five or any of those cards, right, could get out of the way. But Axel, as played, will shove, and that is going to work so that worked out well for axel to flop open and they get to check raise all in nice pick up there is that ace in the background or do you have another dog is that ace there yeah, yeah it's my dog Only ace one. is in the mix seeing a big opportunity for some facetime there on youtube ace getting <laughs> saw the aces earlier and came by seems to know his name and is is here and axel with sevens and both players with decent hands here Let's see if uh, Pavel will uh, tribet bluff again, King Jack. Oh no. Wow. Oh no. Oh. Wow. Axel oh. snap fold. What Not the maybe fold. fold? Out the door folded there. Blinds are what up the to, to 7140. And just when you think you got something figured out, Pavel, I mean, this guy, can he do no wrong? He's in a flip for his life. He wins. He gets sevens just to just to bin it in a three-handed, relatively short stack spot. That was a crazy. I didn't I'm, I'm shocked that he to snap fold. folded. Yeah. You know, he yeah, jams yeah, deuces. Too. Jams deuces yeah, on yeah. The, the open before, but then like on a three bet where he has a stronger hand, short stack. I mean, it's more like an Olinder. Right. I don't think Pavel will ever fold, but Sevens are so powerful in this situation, right? We are three-handed with 20 blinds, less than 20 blinds. So we need to, to put the money in at some point. And sevens are there. We nine suited, nine seven. We are, just when we saw, you know, the show goes quickly. That's the thing. Now we started... It's been two hours and 10 minutes, and we are still three-handed and a bit of play. Lemon House separating himself, 9-7, likely betting here on the King 8-8. Eight, eight. And Pavel is like, I think Pavel is starting to get the picture that, hey, I know what's going on. I'm sticky. I like to play, but this guy is not afraid. You know, he's really putting on pressure. So here we go. Queen 9 suited call and 9-7. The guy gets a equity bluff. Probably going to follow through here when he picks up the gut shot and has one of the worst hands he can have. Down to two minutes, 37 seconds, so the shortest. He will check back. Interesting. Doesn't pull the trigger when he gets a decent turn card, but you can't go for it all. And maybe on the river, right, he may decide yeah, he, to... Uh, maybe he realized that he was bluffing a lot, so he's trying to, 
to balance it a bit, to not uh, betting on all spots when he have a bluff. But maybe he does it here, and again with a big size, and again Pavel nothing to do. Wow. Pavel is thinking to call here. Yeah, I mean, he's got no diamonds. I guess six, seven makes a straight. He's got, I mean, it's it's not the like craziest call in the history there by any means, but hey, yeah. gets get done. And, and Lemon's got him basically pinned down now where they're pretty close in stack. And I would like to see up. a shove here by Lemon. I think he will put a lot of pressure on Pavel opening range here by shoving. Or a three bet fold, I think both are fine. And Axel, let's see if he defends. I hope he doesn't shove King it. Oh my God! Wow, <laughs> so sick. I mean, he 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 opened for the sevens and then he he jammed King eight off against the button open. And now Lemon will just uh, put pressure on them. A lot of pressure. The battle for the second place begins now. Yeah, this is, uh, yeah, we say that. We've seen Axel get back into it a few times, though. There's been, it's definitely not over. Lemon House is in a very nice position. Spots like this, he gets to put pressure on. We've seen Axel, I mean, I don't even know. I can't even peg down his pre-flop game, actually. Like, there's, I, I want to say he's definitely tighter, right? But he has some random aggression in there. Yeah. And eight's a very strong hand for this situation. You know, it's rare in the GG million to see a player whittle the other two down, right? Like, even here, I mean, it, it like, or, or we haven't really seen, like, a runaway where people are just getting to, to chip everyone down. I mean, here, because people just play, they still play aggressive. They don't they don't surrender. But, you know, at the moment, this is definitely three-handed with this stack sizes. I it's think we would see a call have a big here. lead on the other two pretty even is, is it's a good yeah. spot, obviously, for Lemon House. And sixes to King, Queen, Suda. We are going to see a flip versus, wow, I mean, every wow. out. He's an underdog. Oh my goodness, a nine, a king, a queen, a club, a ten. Oh man, no way. He's gonna so fade outs, it. He, he fades yeah. it. I mean, you gotta be kidding me. It's so Jack Queen for the for the for I mean that is that is take a picture of that. That is unjust, you would say. That is too many outs, literally in a bottle. Pavel versus our friend who is playing his heart out, and he's got a huge lead as we will pick a winner here in a second. For the giveaway it'll be 50 or 100 although it's in the moment looking very likely like a hundred dollar for the audience because that is what we are doing we've got a giveaway coming we got the twitter jeff cross poker we got 100 thumbs up we got 299,000 subscribers on gg trying to cross that 300 appreciate everyone being here and there it is we see a limp and a raise and pavel has got his work cut out for him unlucky is right that was too many outs he does call Queen six, Pavel gonna limp call. That is I a mean, bit wild. I mean, heads up. So in heads up, uh, queen high is pretty good, right? Lemon will open a lot. So yeah, but I don't know, man. That seems a little bit, little out of line, honestly. And and wow. he calls flop. I'm gonna announce the winner just in case. <laughs> uh, in case. Nice check by Lemon here. I think it's pretty good to check. Let him uh, catch yeah, the Yeah, Pavel definitely is going to – I think he's going to bet small here, like 280 or 350 or something. I think he will uh, bluff here. <laughs> yeah, and, right uh, in there, 300. Yeah. Does, does, Le timing. does Lemon House Seidel Johnny Chan this? Just call, check river, and let him let – him, I mean, does Pavel necessarily yeah. – I guess it depends on the river. I don't know if he's gonna gonna go for it or not, but he just calls the check. eight on the river. Snap check, please. 
Yeah, I think we will see a blood by Pavel here. Pavel, is he uh, really going to rip it in? Is it going to be? Is it going to be? Wait, this is. Oh no, it's okay. Yeah, let me know. Or maybe he's going to put it all in, but a little. This is going to be that situation where you see all but one, like ten thousand chips, and then have to fold. <laughs> this might be that moment that we. I don't ever see it. We might literally get this like nine hundred and eighty-eight k. Leave himself no. six thousand. <laughs> no. We might see it. Oh, he gives the white flags it. Yeah. Okay. Not the best timing to do this with no. Nope. Well, and... he did. He did keep some chips, and there is the winner. I announced it, it is Noel Giraldi. That's going to be a fifty or hundred. Very likely a hundred. Not over Congrats, yet. Sir. Man, I well. Belay, I might have to take my dinner credits if I do end up winning this today. Maybe I'll take a flight in a dinner instead of two dinners and just come to <laughs> Romania and check you before you uh, have a, a, a new member of the family. I'm, I'm, I'm thinking about I've never been to Romania. I have not heard great things. I really have. Yeah. Geraldo Andrade, I saw these Dennis Sanchez, some familiar faces in there today. Welcome, everyone. Hope you are enjoying the day. It's been a, it's been an interesting final table. Really has been been a fun group to see. 600 watching, right around 300,000 on GG Poker subscribers. Best, uh, I gotta say that the, the game they are GG Poker man. It's amazing. It's amazing. 10k buy-ins, getting this type of entries, playing for this type of money every week. We'll be back with another special guest next week, same time, same place. Daylight savings, one hour difference. Don't forget 2:45 Eastern now. As we see it, this could be it. A6, Queen Nine, Spades, cards on their back. Can Lemonhouse get his first win? That is not a great flop not to hits. do it. To, that is a yeah. pretty special flop. And ace six, six on the river, needed the offsuit ace, two outer, one to come after that flop. We'll play some more. Layla, why not? We're, we're, we're two hours, 18 minutes in. Let's play a little more poker. Pavel trying to get another title. Ten final tables in this season alone. Lemon House looking for his first win, playing 200, 400 cash for Linus Love, allegedly right now, someone in the chat mentioned. So maybe a high-stakes cash player looking for some – tournaments are fun, though, right? Once you get that taste, the, the trophy, the the action, the, yeah. it, it gets fun. Trophies are good. great. And I, I think we should have it for online. I'm going to submit the official bid, GG Millions. There should be a trophy. I don't know about every tournament that can get carried away, but, like, the millions, I mean, come on. It's the biggest – 10k buy-in online you're winning quarter million plus you're beating some of the best in the world i think that that deserves to get a ship a trophy maybe not necessarily every time but here and then yeah jack eight trips hammer lock on the hand king high it is heads up, right? Ace four eight eight. A lot of merit to betting in general. Uh, there, he has shown us willing to trap. Of course, sevens full on a board versus uh, this turn out of, in position with the jack eight. Wants to have some bluffs, and I think he's just thinking about sizing what he's repping. Pavel's shown us pretty sticky play at times. I mean, again, King High's got the club there. Yeah. And and he knows that Lemon is capable of bluffing with these big sizes, so that's why he's calling King High here. I think he he thinks that he can be good uh, decent amount. Yeah. But in problem the same time, with uh, with, is on the river. Yeah. Problem is the, that five, you know, because he's blocking the five six and the five seven that are a big part of the Lemon House bluffing range. So it's a bit uh, hard, and uh, I think we just fall now. Um, yeah yeah all makes sense ace 10 jack 10 suited Ooh, okay, two pretty I looking hands here it will be over soon up. uh not soon but i think ace 10 will ship it's gonna raise to like 600 or 560 right like he did before in this prior call i don't yeah. think he's just gonna shove yeah Lemon so houses. the problem is oh he is gonna do it and, and snap yeah. call jack 10 yeah, suited yeah. said hey of i'm ready to roll shot. the dice let's yeah. play for it all Titles, yeah. all of the oh, gut shot, backdoor hearts. Can he fade it? Turn is clean. Sixteen percent or Lemon House will be your champion. Can he do it? It is clean. Your winner, Lemon House, played lights out today. Takes down the legend Pavel. Doesn't get his he second title this. of the season. Lemon House gets his first. He is rocking the Mexico flag, and he has got himself three hundred and fifteen thousand dollars. What a performance today! He was a chip leader to Amazing. start. Little adversity. 
took it down. Axel Roses from Brazil gave him a tough time for a bit, and then your winner, my man. What? Give me, uh, give me, give me your takeaways today. What do you think about this final table? Yeah, one of the most interesting final table I, I ever watched. I think uh, some some tough spots, some some nice spots there. Uh, we've seen some bluffs, some big bluffs. So yeah, it was amazing. And uh, hope I see you again uh, in the next one. My man, the 2023 EPT Paris champion for 1.2 million. You know how to play the game. We appreciate you second time being on the show. We will be seeing more of you. And also, you stream on Twitch, correct? Can you maybe let everyone know where to follow you on socials? Yeah, you and can follow me on Twitch, Twitch uh, on uh, Rasby with the Y. QQ and uh, on the YouTube, Bele Arasvan as my name. Uh, hope I see you guys there and more the next week or so. I love it. Well, you will be invited back. We appreciate you, my friend. Everyone watching again, 245 Eastern next Tuesday with Daylight Sayings. There he is, Balea Razvan, and our friend that won, who is a chip leader. Start the day, Lemon House finishes it off with the cherry on top. We'll see you guys on the next GG Millions. Episode 45 will be next week, same time, same place. See you guys. Thank you, Balea. All the best. See you.